Welcome back to Channel C1. I'm Demica Jamal. And it's Cam King. And today we're watching the second episode of Fallout. The Target. The Target. Full reactions on Patreon? Full reactions on Patreon. Full reactions on Patreon. If you want to see the raw, uncut, unedited footage and watch along with us, you can watch over there. We really do appreciate that. The first episode was pretty entertaining. I would say so. There was some moments that I was like, hmm, this is a TV He didn't show. like it. Don't let him lie I you. did enjoy it. There were some moments that I was like, hmm. But it ended strong and it started strong. I really do like the character, the ghoul, even though we only got a little bit of him. Walt Walton Goggins. Walter. It's Walton. It's Walton? Oh. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to edit this episode. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Ella Purnell, the voice of Jinx. If you've ever seen Arcane, she's amazing in there as the voice of Jinx. Slash, I don't think she, was, she wasn't the voice of Powder. But um, pretty interesting. So far, we do not like Maximus. Hey, he seems shady. Shit. He seems shady. Once again, Lucy is fine. She, does, she seems good. Like, she's not evil or nothing like that. Secretly I like or Lucy. outwardly. And, of course, the ghoul is chill. Mm. But the first episode was definitely excited with the, the fight scenes, at least the one fight scene in the very beginning with all the slicing and dicing and yeah, literally putting a machine action. gun in somebody's mouth and shooting people through the good back action. of that person's head. Good action. Wow. But yeah, excited good, to get good aim. into this episode. Definitely so far one of the most faithful video game adaptations on media I've personally seen. I haven't played the video game. He has. Yeah. And this is set in the same world, but it's not a retelling. I didn't know that. Yes, it is a mechanical, as if you're playing another game in the world. of Canonical. What? You said canonical. That's not the word. Okay. Just, I was just trying to help you out, brother. Okay. Anyway, let's get to it. Ooh, flashback. Is this a puppy? Okay. Okay, they're not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh my Incinerate god. Incinerate newborns weigh in less than 10 ounces. Oh wow. Yo, this show knows how to fucking start, yo. And this is oh, the this guy is the that doctor. they're looking for. That they said they were looking for. Wow. The guy that escaped the enclave. Wow, he's like um, the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Oh, yeah, the little, the, the what's it called? Yeah. What the fuck was his name? <laughs> I don't remember. I thought he was, I knew. He, he was evil as shit, but wow. They all got their Apple watches on. So they're called Pip Boys. Just a nerdy fact for you. What, these? They're Apple watches. Pip Boys? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're called Pip Boys. So interesting how the people in the vault are like, we gotta stay down here. Meanwhile, these people these are up motherfuckers here, just <laughs> up here experimenting. Immediately, gotta exercise. Training them oh, and wow. exercise. Oh my god, he got a brain in there. Probably human. You gotta do the thing. There you go. You gotta move your hand up. What a treat and make him sit. And you gotta say it like this. Sit. You gotta change the tone of voice. No, you can be commanding with them. Sit. No, you can be. You gotta say it like shit, this. Shit, bitch. <laughs> to be honest, they respond to anything if you say it with the right tone. You can say, ooh. Hey, that sun is bound to shine. What are they doing? Compound V. <laughs> He's spearmen on himself. Ow, where's that go? <laughs> Fuck. And he got to do all that as he's doing this shit. That's insane. <laughs> fuck Even yeah, the doll, dude. <laughs> Even the doll looking it's at him like, crazy. Fuck yeah. I'm like so fucking high right now. What the hell is that? He putting dog DNA inside of him? Oh, he's not allowed to have the dog back there. He stole it. Yeah, fuck him up. Good boy. That's what you get for being a tattletale. Because why is you snitching? Snitches get bite marks. Oh, no, you don't have to lick me afterwards. He is going to get fired. Yep, they don't know what happened yet. It's sneaking out. Man, he dropped all that shit. Bro is prepared. Please remain calm as a gun is pointed at me. Wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No. How is he dodging this? 
He's not really. He's just barely outrunning it. The turret was a little slow. Slow ass turret. I remember getting a certain kill streak and fucking goddamn motherfucking goddamn goddamn goddamn. I used to play Call of Duty back in the day. You get a kill streak. That took way too long for you to say Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> and you get a turret. That was always fun. You gotta have like, a little more I urgency like, looking for your dad. You could be walking the wrong way and then you gotta go the other way. Maybe so. that's why she doesn't need urgency. She needs to reflect and think and comprehend. Oh, never mind. You're right. No, nah, you're right, bro. Okay. Yeah. You can say that again. <laughs> hey, you're right, bro. I heard you the first time. No, you told time. me to say it again. I said you could. And I did, because yeah, I could. You're damn right. Okay, a boat. It's something. Fun fact, when you're in the game, your little pit boy plays songs like these while you're oh, walking really? around. Yeah. Huh. Cool. Houses. Oh, I mean, plural. Heist. Some interesting lighting. It looks cool. Some dead people? Yeah. Oh my god. Dead family. Burnt to a crisp. Didn't y'all notice y'all were dying? Why didn't y'all get up? I think they got died in the explosions there. Mm, fucking. Oh, oh, they poisoned themselves. Just turn me loose. Let me <clears throat> Moving on. <laughs> you take the bike. Steal it. They won't be needing it. In the cabin of old Who the hell are you talking to? You're alone. You act like you don't talk to yourself. I don't. I wonder if she get pregnant from that dude. That she yeah, I was curious about that too. And then yeah. murdered. He's a nice guy too. Self defense. Dog. Oh, good boy. What, what is that? It is a beetle thing. Oh, no, that's not no beetle. A beetle thing. That's a roach. Oh, a roach thing. Were you sitting in a chair the whole yeah, time? Yeah, good introduction, right? Like, <laughs> what? How did he get in the chair? She wasn't looking at the chair, though. She, she was asleep. Yeah. Before the war. Oh, my God. This is how you introduce yourself? Joked about. Cockroaches surviving a nuclear blast. They didn't merely survive, they improved. Bro, you don't have to be this weird. You're making a choice to be weird right now. Hunt in packs, in sizes to help in. Bro, if cockroaches are really that big, fuck me. You a freak. Damn, a freaky, freaky guy. When you have become a different animal altogether, I'll still be the same beast though. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you? Could have started with that. Bro, literally just popped in. So yeah, I'm going to give you some knowledge. Yeah. I feel bad for you. There could be more roaches. Take me with you. Hey, Maximus. Our favorite character. My lord, Titus. My lord. On the T-16, does that, that help with mobility? <laughs> <laughs> does not give a fuck. Uh, oh my god that's his uh where he keeps his wee wee yeah he's still cleaning it you got to put it back on why did you attempt that that's an awkward little bro never touch me there again bro they got too much power yeah there's get, no discipline get him out of that suit he think he hot shit Ew. Oh, this is... That, why is it romantic? <laughs> yeah. That wasn't even that bad of a fall. Why are yeah. you screaming? Someone said in the comments, this character's going to grow on us, but it, he ain't growing yet. I'll tell you that. I'm growing. What you mean by that? What do you think I God mean? God damn. What do you think I mean, brother? Get with the program. She's like, oh, being creepy is tired, tiring. It's crazy. He really just took a little break in his trek to be creepy and then continue. 
hazardous waste zone. Don't go. Can't you read, doggy? I hear something. Uh oh, uh -oh spaghetti. -o. That's been disconnected. That's a fresh hand. Boy, start a fire, throw that motherfucker on the grill. Maybe panko crust it. Panko crust it. <laughs> Lemon pepper. <laughs> I submit that's a fresh hand, is in somebody just died, not as in cook it. Oh. That's Tiger what? Woods caddy. <laughs> Damn. They all kind of close to each other. They're literally about to find a dude out of a. Because this guy was bored and wanted to shoot something. Look, my lord. It's so odd. It feels so odd calling a robot my lord. It's not a robot. I know, but like yeah. he looked like a robot. Like he's, he's futuristic. And my lord sound old, so it's interesting that he has to call him that. My lord. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all could leave. That's a choice. That's an option. Damn, look at all that ass on that robot. Shit, tight. Go see if the target's in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's an act of bravery. How brave is it if Damn. I don't have a choice? Right? Turn that thing on. Go in there and die. Stay out here and die. See anything? Yeah, do ya? What's the problem, dipshit? Okay, my my lord Hold Titus on. is a scaredy cat. Yeah, he a pussy. Oh. That's a big old dog. Damn. <laughs> Your reaction so slow. Man, that was slow. Shoot, something. I think he wants Lord Titus to die. Yeah, but if he die, you next. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. You was handling your oh, own, though. Oh, he knocked himself out there. Damn. He was holding his own a little bit, though. He was, yeah. He could have kept. Ooh. He about to mount him. Ooh, oh, never mind. Never mind. He ain't holding nothing. Help me. Oh, shoot it. Nah, he, he not reliable. I mean, he <laughs> was treating him like shit, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he, if, he gonna, if he would kill his friend or put a razor in his friend's shoe, what do you think he going to do to you? Damn, the, the bear, the bear got acne or herpes. One of them. Sounds like a kid, bro. Yeah, he really just a baby in there. Fuck. Fuck this shit. Fuck. It's a, uh, it's a. What do you mean? Wh huh? Shoot him. Fucking place. Is that what's his name? I forgot his name. This wasteland fucking sucks. He be on. Fucking FS1 talking sports all the time. For remnants that turn out to be a fucking toaster. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, man? Can you get me a fucking stim pack instead of just standing there? He gonna kill you and take your armor. <laughs> hey, this is what he seems like he would do. You stupid motherfucker, you know this hey, is all your fault. He was getting the stim pack. Uh oh. Yep, yeah, nope. That's the look. That's the look you see right before you die. That's how he looked at his friend when he he found out that they got promoted. They gotta be the worst fucking squire there is. You gotta be the dumbest. You mm -hmm. are in a vulnerable position. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you're not smart. This ain't his fault at all. <laughs> That's crazy he would say no, that. You, and then, have, you have my permission, bro. Kill him. I, I you like could you. talk to me like that when you was in a good, strong state. <laughs> this is destroying his like idea of them now, too. Yeah, when it's you were night's duty. In tonight's duty. <laughs> he gonna let you die slow. He's just gonna put on your suit, pretend to be you, and then try to find a target and say that he died. I don't. I don't he, he can't put the suit on. You gonna try? He need like a machine to like put it on or something like. It's like heavy as hell. According to you, who's already played the game. Damn, he thick, boy. Got them legs out. No wonder she wanted to approach him. It's okay. I just want to ask you for 
direction. Well, can you put the gun down? Yeah, damn. Shotty. <laughs> oh, bro, you could use some pants. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little lost. <sighs> Don't put that away, though. Keep it strapped yeah. up. Yeah. Sand I put in it, I just get more sand. What? Have you tried water? Uh, do you see water around here? They both dumb right now. You got water? Oh, uh, would you like a sip? A sip, girl. You don't chug that motherfucker. Lucy, I think I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Give me that. Sorry, uh, sir, I actually, I might. Give me that. Yeah, me too. Thank you. She is so naive. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm thirsty, you drink it. Much you can anyway. Oh, man. I. Ugh. Never been myself. You've it's... never. Been over that it's right there. Couple brothers too. Had a hand I don't like the angle with his ass in it. <laughs> also, I don't like his posture. I don't like anything about him. I'm real sick. Make him dying. Oh, you wouldn't have to put up with me for too long. <laughs> He's trying <laughs> to get the sympathy card. I'll be yours. <laughs> this? He about to call on the radio. I feel like, <laughs> hey, hey, he, pretty he, old thing. He's playing a... dumb. Yeah, I don't know. He might be a bit dumb too, though. Yeah, he just maybe playing he's up gonna up put his down the armor. Damn. Just like I fucking said. I swear you needed like. You just gotta let go of your previous knowledge and just live and experience that which is Fallout TV series. Season one. Easy peasy. I am Iron Man. Watch out. Watch <laughs> that would have been cool if some uh, ACDC start playing. Back in black! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't take the gun? I get the. No, the gun got fucked up. Never mind. Bro, you didn't really earn that shit, though. Well, he did kill that bear, though. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like... Eh. And he probably killed that other dude. He probably expedited his death. Oh, yeah, for sure. You think it's wonderful. Be on the lookout. So that's, and he put a razor in, in his that shoe. Yeah, he deserves yep, it. So that's good. It's a man. <laughs> He's like, being a slime ball is off. Oh, my God. Look at him, he look like a kid. <laughs> he just... Oh, sorry. Yeah, get out of there, buddy. Go get back on the damn helicopter. They're not gonna know it's not you. Or oh, they'll figure it out. Wait, somebody died? Somebody was in there? Oh, okay. Oh, I was like, damn. I have a feeling that the person getting this attacked is, is actually like... in the wrong. Yeah, this is like a trap. I said I'd hand him. Oh man, this I don't Power. This guy's evil, Power. bro. Stupid rule. Not the first time I've been persecuted for my scientific curiosity. What was you doing? You got a magician's personality. Really bad day, sir. And he got a fedora. Toodles. He's definitely the villain. And the gentleman. He said it backwards. Gentleman and a scholar. He didn't kill him. Oh, wow. He's growing. It's just... He... The guy was fucking my chickens. Oh. Fucking them? He didn't say with. His scientific fucking... What? He didn't say fucking He's with like... my chickens. <laughs> he said, okay. He don't know how this thing works. The bro is like a kid he with a two-toy on Christmas. He said he was Christmas. fucking my chickens. How? They should have included that scene so we could really um, get a nice grasp oh, of the says, plot. Okay. On oh, your way, citizen. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I don't know what to say to that. Yeah, nobody does. What are you smiling about? Cars? Uh. Imagine an ex exhibit just pops up. Hey, I'm here to pimp your ride. You need to change clothes. Yeah, you look like a fucking tourist. My name is... Girl, you are a stranger. We do not fuck with you. They didn't even look back. 
undiluted antifreeze? Cool. This looks like a fallout town, all oh. right. They just zoomed in on that person's hand. They probably gonna be important or something. Oh, they went back to his hand again. And he oh, got is that, something um, into it. Is that the ghoul? Oh, maybe. What's so damn funny, you fucking drug addict? You know the same thing about that cow? What? No. It had two heads. That's it? <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy. Yep. Yep. It's our favorite character. The ghoul. Look at his body language, just badass. Yeah. It would be safe to assume that you do business with criminals. Wow, what a leap of knowledge. You're an actual vault dweller. I am. Why are you proud of it? Sorry, these fucking dipshits were dead. Barb, <laughs> get in here. You gotta see this. But her laugh sounded like it had cancer. Barb. <laughs> A woman in her 50s, I think, Barb! goes by the name of Barb, Moldaver. Here, you... Moldaver? You go on that. You get out of here. Get. get back to your fucking room, Barb. <laughs> but the mission of the vaults should be important to everyone. Oh, yeah. You sell it. We vault dwellers <laughs> recognize uh, and agree. Oh, man. The privilege oh, Lord. Don't even say it like that. What? Fuck. <laughs> uh, I can see that for sure. Especially they gave you a little taste of it in the first scene where the one dude wouldn't let the other dude in his vault. Yeah. And you already seen right there that not everybody in the whole town had those little safety basements or whatever. I can't think of the word for them. Now, these people been out here struggling. She need to change clothes now. Is she down there with fresh, clean water somehow? See the cow with two heads? Oh my God. I thought there was two cows. Damn, they all like almost the same place. Really think you should go home? You are not safe here. <laughs> Bro, stop talking like some creepy old storyteller. It lives images of the Nebraskan countryside. What the fuck? Brought up in a meritocracy. That's probably that little thing he put in his fucking. I think I know enough neck. to know. But how he? That's a lot. Of stuff. Who are you? And how do you know so much? Hey. I'm your real daddy. Gone now. Oh, he oh he's the way. bounty. I forgot. Wilsig is the bounty. Oh, she ain't never seen one of these motherfuckers before. <laughs> I forgot everybody else is human, even though they got those weird animals. Looking at this motherfucker, undead, skull face, no nose having cowboy. Oh, I happen to be looking for one. You know your kind ain't welcome here. Damn. She don't like no racist. But I'm gonna make myself welcome. <laughs> On the head of a man that fits the description of that fellow right there. Just happened to look like you. Provide this man safe transport out of Philly. Oh, well, you ain't getting that money because he ain't safe no more. Oh, God damn. Negotiations really fell hard. Oh, my God. They were, they were coming to an agreement. Why that? They shoot him clean, bro. <laughs> bro, the show just elevates when he steps into the scene. <laughs> they just man. make it good. It's like we're watching Mandalorian right now. Yes. He looked happy to oblige them into a standoff, a one v twenty. God damn. Oh my lord. Whatever he's shooting, blowing holes in these little mini rockets, basically. I wonder if you get that game, get that gun when you first start out in the game. Oh my god. Bruh. Or you gotta unlock it. Yeah, you probably gotta unlock it after a little bit, because I feel like you don't start with that. <laughs> oh, he got another Damn, y'all ain't got me working up an appetite. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They gave him the coldest lines, too. Damn. He deliver them perfectly, too. Oh. We got some damn radiated tomatoes, probably. Mmm. -hmm. And it misses oh, he's just already like that. dead. I forgot. No, they shot him. He just ate them bullets. Right off you one of these cherry tomatoes, but you got a hole in your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah. they, they shoot some good action scenes in this shit. He already pretty much dead. Ain't no point in shooting him. 
Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Bruh, they well, are I'll be. You don't understand. Isn't that neat? You don't understand. What? They're recreating, like... Like, the game has a mode where you shoot, and if you can slow everything down and shoot, like, certain body parts, and it'll uh, follow the bullet like the camera is. Uh, so they're making it just like the game. Oh. I don't want her to die. She's pretty chill. I don't know if I describe her as chill, but, but she was cool. She funny. No, 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 no. Oh. Well, I'll be. He would have been better off if he was what less than ten ounces when he got incinerated. Get the main characters fighting already. What the hell is that? She said the same thing. Let's find out. Oh, that looked like the big ass gun that was throwing big ass shit at the other guy that the other guy had when he was there trying to get him. Oh, out of the grave? Yeah. I'm going to have to ask you to leave him alone. Knowledge <laughs> that I'm unfamiliar with your circumstances, but at first he is confused. There, and I'm obliged to intervene. <laughs> As a person simply trying to de-escalate a conflict, <laughs> you, you are likely the primary aggressor. In which case... <laughs> yeah, she's so corny. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He do got some good lines. Oh, oh shit. All three main <laughs> characters. Wow. Bruh. Okay, yeah, and she was kind of clean. I ain't gonna wow. lie. Wow. But... Wow, I like that they gave him a suit because I couldn't stand him no more out of the suit. Wow. You know, if you got a character I don't like, put him in a robot suit. Steel, stand down or be cut down. That's <laughs> bad. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Bro, tackling her might kill her. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> oh, God. Fucking oh, Ray Lewis. Out of ammo. Kiss. I, you didn't have to take off everything. Yeah, he hi. wanted yeah, to. Yeah, hey, he got a he middle of the wow. battle. Is. Bro is bro is not focused. Get him inside and keep him there until I've dealt with a ghoul. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you could have did that without lifting the mask. Yeah, you didn't all that. Bro wanted to show his teeth. Yeah. I assumed he'd be the love interest, but he definitely is now. Bro, the fuck? What were you shooting at? Because it seems like you missed. <laughs> Damn. I, his interest was clean, though. He said, she said, stand yeah, down. down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say come up here and get me, but it's hard to walk upstairs when you're wearing a 12-piece cast iron skillet. <laughs> <laughs> Barf! You didn't hear all that shit going on. Barf did not flinch. You'll be lucky if you can make it to fucking breakfast. <laughs> but was that a night? <laughs> She's like fucking full dwellers. <laughs> Under the defibrillators. Just saying. <laughs> you yell at me the way. They just having a casual combo. <laughs> so, yeah, this is an everyday thing for them. Wow. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, this gonna hurt. Oh, holy, moly. holy moly. She got You're some funny lines. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, but I really uh, only hear Her politeness is so funny. <laughs> my client goes by the name of Lee. I had a feeling. Yeah. That's convenient. That's good. Delivering this guy right here is your best option. But now it's a conflict. Cause she know Moldaver is bad. Gosh damn it, okay. Gosh damn it. This shouldn't even say god damn it. Just just get to the coordinates. And the rads move pretty quick in and out through oh. there. So gonna... That shit must have oh my god, that shit hurt. I know it. I can do this. Yes. You can do this. Sure you can, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Could May maybe work. <laughs> <laughs> She's good with her lines, that old lady. Yeah, we got a good side characters. Ooh. My hero. 
<laughs> Look at oh it. my god, they're disgusting. Oh my god. Why are y'all making eye contact? Better hope your girlfriend don't see this. Well, I guess basic training ain't what it used to be. Ha! <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Read the manual. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just got my new car, Mom. Oh. But I hope your girlfriend don't see this. Oh. Serums to energize. Damn, he walked like a damn thug now. Serums to heal your feet. Don't trust him. He fucks chickens. <laughs> chicken fucker. Hate chicken fuckers. Worst kind of fuckers. Wow, she's looking at him flying as if that was cool. <laughs> yeah, but he was really, he really falling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm make you grow an entire new foot. Why is he lying so hard? Cranberry juice. Jim's limbs. <laughs> <laughs> it said complete knee on the box, too. <laughs> Ma Junes. That's her name, Ma Junes. The name of the dog is CX404. Needs a better Horrible. name than that. Yeah. <laughs> damn, you stabbed. I mean, it was attacking you. Oh, damn. Stim pack, stim it up, baby. Also, he can use the dog to help him find the what's call it, cause the nose. He don't got no nose at all, but the dog got a good one. That dog is an excellent actor. I'm okay with this. The dog lived. I'm okay with that. Yeah, he didn't make the ghoul look even cooler. They be making out the ghoul like he the villain, but I'm all for him right now. He's Def my protagonist. He's definitely chill. Wait a minute. Is this the end of the episode? Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. Damn. We could have got him a wheelchair or something at that damn market. CCCP. Had a Russian symbol on it. Well. I guess all you, had to, all you had to do to get him to stop saying so much creepy things, so many creepy things, is cut his leg off. I'm not going to make it. You got stim pack? Just put a stim pack in him. But you are going to get across that wasteland. And we're going to do it together. Do it. <laughs> freaky. Oh, freaky, you freaky. A cyanide pill. oh, you killed yourself. Great. Cool. Whoop. What? There's the end of that. It was the most humane product that vault ever made. It was quick, painless. What the fuck? I was surprised it wasn't more popular. That's what she found with the damn family. That was... But how am I going to bring you if you're... You can bring him dead? Just my head. Uh-huh. Uh... You really want him to cut off your head? Wow. If you carry my head instead of dragging my whole body... Yeah, that's insane. You're asking me to. Yes, he's asking you. And this is the only way to get your dad back. He is kinky. You are a vault dweller. But if you're going to survive, a... you are a Stark. You need to start acting like a surface dweller. <laughs> okay, Miss McLean. Whoa, you know my fucking name? Cause of my head. Sir. He looking at your tits. Or he did. One of those you both. <laughs> I gotta die with a good view. Yeah. Better cut his head off like he told you. Yeah, you better hurry up too, cuz y'all already wasn't moving that fast. Hey, you gotta run away. You gotta run away from the ghoul. Okay, cut the head off. Wait, so I was just playing. I was just playing. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okie dokie. Anybody seen that? Oh, man. That Tim <laughs> Robinson sketch. Oh, uh, that's her. That's her line. That's her catchphrase. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Shop ahead off. Okie dokie. 
That's so interesting because she's playing such like a sweet character. And then contrast to Jinx. <laughs> Jinx would say okie dokie and mean it so creepy. Like, like she would say that shit. Yeah. One out of ten? Seven. I would say probably around nine. Really? You really was, like that one better that, than the first It's one? just, you know, very action packed. We got all the characters are. We got we know enough about the characters. I think in the first episode, we were getting on the characters. There are some pacing things that they had to, I feel like they were doing their due diligence. Like they had to do certain things that were like a little bit like um, going through the yeah, motions. Yeah. Like, so, and they wanted to speed run it basically. Yeah. And uh, now that we know Maximus, he's like kind of funny every time he does anything. The ghoul's been cool the whole time. And then the contrast of their personality, especially Lucy with the ghoul, and her being all like, sir, that was you really actually scene, initiated yeah. the conflict. <laughs> and I'm going to have to ask you to stand down. You're the primary aggressor. And yeah. I would think this town will assume this violence is justified. Mm-hmm. No, yes. okay, I'll take back my rating. I'll probably rate it more like eight and a half, eight. Yeah, yeah. it was because I don't remember. There wasn't a point in the episode where I was like, this is a little bit like boring. Or there wasn't a point where I was like reminded this is a TV show. Um, to, like everything flowed to where obviously you know there's gonna be things that are like convenient for the story. Well, this but is but the story it also allows it's, itself for convenience yes, because it's, it's a whole different universe. The concept of it, and yeah. like the nature of the story, allows for more leeway. When it's like, oh well, this is a wacky story. Like it yeah. makes sense. But yeah, it was extremely entertaining through and through because you got the first part with um first meeting Will Zick. He dies immediately, but uh, we first meet him and him going through the part where they throw the dog in a fucking incinerator. Then he raises one of the dogs. Yeah, I like that they gave him enough little backstory. I just don't know what yeah. this little, what is this little chip? Yeah, well, and then fucking his neck that he put. And then why did that guy set off the alarm? He set off the alarm because the dog was in there, I'm assuming. I Not think the dog the was chip. supposed to be incinerated. I think he saved the dog from being incinerated and kept it for himself. But the dog was so grown at that point. I know he was hiding it, I guess. Because he was hiding it in that hole. Uh, so I'm assuming people been... don't always come into the room or whatever. Ah, uh, okay. Fair. And he trained the dog and, you know, those types of dogs are very like... Oh, yeah, then he ran also. away and Moldaver is apparently... Moldaver is apparently looking for him um, along with the knights... Titus. Everybody looking for him. Well, he dead now, and all they need is his head. So everybody looking for his head. But yeah, um, partially I think it's the dialogue with the ghoul, but I, I, I think a good portion of how fun his dialogue is is because of the delivery by the actor. Yeah, Walton. he's just a good little yeah. good villainous-esque yeah, actor. Yeah, he's playing that that like country western outlaw role You can to tell perfection. he's having fun with it too. Yeah, he's just so chill. But I mean, the way Maximus' dialogue comes off when he's in the suit, is just so crispy and you know he feels more confident in the suit he so does when he's too, speaking yeah. he's it's, like, it's, it's edging on the slight of corny but it is he's good. like she <laughs> said she said stand down <laughs> <laughs> like if he wasn't in the suit it'd be right. looking stupid yeah <laughs> yeah um but i think it's michael rapaport is the guy that was initially in the suit titus i'm pretty sure that's who that was and he's talked sports a lot if i had to um pinpoint it but um very entertaining very entertaining episode uh yep that's him yeah, you're correct yep. michael Rappaport. yeah um what else like it felt the episode because it's like every scene everything that happened was pretty memorable sometimes there are things in a, epi a long episode that you might forget like little pieces but i can almost remember every scene like in order it feels like it's a very entertaining episode yeah you know can't get better than somebody fucking chickens yeah the show was, is doing great at like so uh, uh, giving surprising moments starts each episode off with a little bit of a bang too you know like they start off good exciting yeah but, yeah um also i was going to say the last episode i would say six or seven but this one's definitely nine to be honest i think i just saying nine because i don't want to give it a ten because i don't really I can't think of nothing that I didn't enjoy about it. In particular, I reserve tens for extremely astounding episodes of television. The only one I can think of off the top of my head right now that's a ten is episode three of The Last of Us. That's a ten to me. Something well, you, that moves me, that makes me feel something I haven't felt. That's on an emotional journey. I can help you out with that, bro. No, that's good. Yeah. yeah, but you know what though, too, if it. I think part of the what could keep me from giving it a 10 could be keeping me from giving it a 10 is like maybe some of the dialogue and like 
logical things that maybe I am ignoring or dismissing, like are being compensated by how fun and entertaining it is. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. There's certain things that's like, okay, this well, is kind of silly, I, but they play it up. Yeah. They play, it's part of the, the yeah, it's the theme of what it. you like. like it's like watching shit. a movie Barbie, right? That has weird dialogue sometimes. Yeah, but it makes sense. But in it that makes world. sense because it's a Barbie doll. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. They all. They're all. None. Nobody's growing up in some normal environment. Where yeah, they're, they're being are, taught how to talk or speak or yeah. Learn so or it's like you can't even say, well, that's not natural dialogue. Well, these people didn't grow yeah. up in a natural world, like the world that. So they're they're really playing very well. That all these people have like very distinct personalities and they have very distinct problems that like are exaggerated. You feel in the show, but are very typical for all the people and all the characters in that world of that moment. So yeah, Ma June and Barb have a lovely dynamic. They were great. It's a classic dynamic that you've seen. You've seen the trope before. But it was done well. But it was done, it was well. done well. She was funny. Um, I just want you to know they wasn't under the defibrillators. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it said, yeah, you don't have to yell at me. I, well, some guy's leg got cut off. Well, I feel like you was going to be yelling at me anyway. anyway. <laughs> I was like, okay. It was like, What? And the fact that he took off the mask to say hey to what's your name to honestly, Lucy. There was a lot that happened in this episode. Yeah. They're doing a good job of packing it. And now that I think about it, because honestly, she met the guy with his fucking underwear on. Yeah. They and have, he drank yeah. all her water. Each scene is is kind of well crafted. I would yeah. say. Yeah. And you know what? Why am I surprised? That's one of the Nolan brothers. Yeah. He directed the first the three. The better episodes. Nolan brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. But he directed just the first three. He, di- he directed the first three episodes, so. Oh, okay. Only the first three? Well, he, but he's so like. we can stop after that. You know, they only say I can last three. Anyway, but. Where were you going with that? Yeah, what did you want to know? Um, But yeah. Very entertaining. Oh, yeah. Can't forget the cockroach. Yeah, but I hate those things in the game. I mean, they're easy to kill, but they're just so creepy. <laughs> they, they call them rad roaches. Also, the action scene apparently was very similar to the video game, like you said. Yeah, in a way, yeah. Like it's just it, it's just cool to see how they're doing the action. They're doing it really well, and uh, yeah, in the video game, I forget what the system's called, but you have a thing where you press a button, and you can either have combat in real time, or you're just do 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 do, and the things are going, or you can kind of like slow it down for a second, and you can like select a body part to hit, and then it will like slowly like hit. I bet you I'll find one. So like, yeah, skip. But like, it slows it down, and you can hit like certain parts. So I kind of followed the bullet. He's close he by. He hit him in the nuts. Yeah. Oh. And see how bloody like the game is? Like the show is just like the game. So it's just like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. But any, yeah, it any was. Other thoughts or comments on the show? No. What do you guys think of the show so yeah. far? Have you I seen noticed when we did our little poll, a lot of you have already watched the entire season. Do you remember this first season? This first episode? I mean, the second episode? What you thought of it? Do you? All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Means the world. See you around.